Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another folio to share with you guys with another journal inside of there. This time using another different collection and this one was called Pool Party. So before I even get into this, let me show you guys the scrappies that I have and stay tuned because that's what I'll be showing you guys next. Okay guys, so again, I used this collection called Pool Party by Echo Park. It was so cute to play with and so fun to play with, guys. Um, so I have this collection and I used up a lot of paper. So normally I'm left with, I think, four sheets of paper um, after I make these. And this time I had less. I don't know what I did differently, but um, I have this larger scrap. I used some on this card just to make a quick little card. Um, so I used that because I did realize that I have a couple of other single sheets that I did order as well. And especially with this watermelon paper, I have like three more sheets of this one. Um, I have some of these smaller cut aparts and there was a lot of cut aparts in this collection, guys. Um, I have this scrappy with the pool paper on the back. I have this one, these little ones. I have this cut apart. I have these four by six cut aparts, and obviously I could use the back for um, the pattern paper if I choose, instead of, um, you know, instead of the cut aparts. I have this cut apart sheet. There was just a lot of cut aparts. There was also another sheet with four by six cut aparts, a couple of three by four and the small two by two. So there was a lot of cut apart sheets, which is why I'm thinking I don't have um, like full size sheets left over because I was using some cut aparts up. Um, so I have this, I have this paper, which is some starfish and some stripes, and I will be making another project with this. I got this one, and then this is the back side of that, and then I have, um, the sticker sheet. So I did use some stickers in the journal, not all, but I did use some, and that is everything that I have left from the pool party collection, and again, I did say I have, um, some spare pieces, so here was some other pages that were in there. Um, so this one was the cut, one of the cut apart sheets. This one I actually used for this paper. Um, again, I have more watermelon paper cause I just ordered more. There's this polka dot one with, um, lemon on the back side. There's this one with more cut aparts. And then I have more of the cut apart sheets. So I do have some other pieces of paper that I could still make something with. Um, but that's what I had left from this collection kit alone. All right, so again, here's the quick little card. I just used a paper that I had left over. I used one of the two by two cut aparts and it had this little, is this a flamingo or an ostrich? And it said stand tall underneath there, but I added this thank you just so I could write like a little thank you card. Then here's the folio. And this was a custom order, so it is not available um, for purchase. But this is what it looks like and you guys know I do all of my stitching my zigzag stitching and you guys are always asking me what sewing machine I use and what thread I use so I'm gonna have both of those linked down below I'm gonna have the tutorial for this link down below and the tutorial for the envelope linked down below as well so it says sunshine kisses and summer wishes so cute i love making like the two different kinds of patterns of paper for the front cover i just i really love it here's the side for this one you got the florals and this one's got the stripes and then here's the back side and it's got my um handmade logo then you open this up and as you guys heard it before it is magnetized and it opens like this and like this so that's what that looks like isn't it so pretty i love the colors in this collection the pink the like the turquoisey kind of color um and a couple of like i love the yellow in here it's just i love it it's so pretty um what i didn't love was the orange um but i didn't even like really use it i used it for a pocket which you guys will see um there was just one sheet of that Okay, so here it says life is so much better in a swimsuit and it's got the cute little swimsuit here. It was a cut apart from the collection. This is magnetized and that opens up like that. And then these is like a waterfall and you could journal on the back side or add some photos. You could also add photos here. 
and then this opens up and there is a pop-up and I used another four by six cut apart here and it says summer adventures it just looks so cute and there's some lemon paper and there's some pink paper down there I love that with the cut apart idea I didn't think of that before and um, with my previous albums I don't think um, but I love how it kind of like goes together and it pops up so I really really loved that so those close back up and that again magnetizes closed I will show you guys the journal last so underneath that envelope I have this opens up and that is magnetized as well so that opens up like this you got some pineapple paper on the sides here's a little two by two cut apart um, that I was just using as a tuck spot and I have a little card back there that says sea sun and sand and the little cut apart says endless sunshine in the pocket I have a ton of cut aparts and goodies because I just, there, just, there was just so many in the collection so this one that says summer is here and because it was white I did mat it onto some pink just so it stands out a little bit more in the pocket and here you could see I did use some of that orange paper um, again, this one, sun, surf, sea, salt, and sand. And again, just lives in that pocket. This one I didn't because it's already minty and it stands out. So summer is time for watermelon, lemonade, sunshine, popsicles, seashells, pools. It's so much fun. So that lives there. I have this cut apart that says summer is a state of mind and this journal card as well. And you could obviously do some journaling on the back or add photos. So both are options. So those just live in the pocket and there's still plenty of more space for other things to add into there. And then the journal, I just, I love this um, bathing suit paper and I really, really love the watermelon paper. So I used the watermelon paper on the journal. Look how cute. So this one says I was made for sunny days. You got the watermelon paper with zigzag stitching and here I just paper pieced different patterns of paper together um, and then you open this up it looks like this you got the bathing suit on the inside you got the vellum piece here I have um, this was like a scrappy so I was cutting into the cut apart sheet for the patterned paper and on the back side I noticed I had a couple of cut aparts that I could kind of like cut apart further and use so this had something else on here and I just used it to say the fun part and I made it like a little top loading tech spot and I have this cut apart that says everything is cool so that lives in there then this one I had some scrappies left over I don't remember from what but I had some angled pa um, pieces that I had oh it was probably from um from here from cutting that so I had like this angled one, so I used that as a pocket here. I added like this, I don't know if this is ledger paper or what, but I added this in here and a sticker with a pineapple and then another little leafy thing because I just thought it went with this whole entire like spread. I thought it was looking really cute. Then this next page, I have a cut apart here that says soaking up the summer fun and sun. I have another angled um, top loading pocket here. This is just another flippy. Then here I used the scrappy from here. So the back side of the um, bathing suit paper was watermelon. So I had this piece already angled because that's the shape of the, um, the flap for my envelope. And I just cut it in half and I made a double pocket here. Um, so this is the center of my notebook or the journal. And it says sweet summertime. Again, this was a bigger cut apart. I was able to cut it down to this. Um, after like the scrappies I had left so I noticed that this was still there so I just used it um, I used some stickers I love those stickers so much I don't know why but I love them I love the different patterns it's just so pretty then here it says slice of summer just another sticker this is another flippy you got another cut apart in this um, side tuck spot pocket and it says dive into summer that lives in there then you have this it says summer loving up here you have that other side of the ledger paper and i added a little like surfboard so you could write on here you could write on here then here i have another pocket using up a scrap and i have a cut apart that says staying cool by the pool and you guys could see i used a lot of cut aparts in here because there were just so many available and then this i left open so you could add something underneath there as well 
because that was another little like tuck spot and it says summer vibes this was a sticker from the sticker sheet and then more of the vellum and then the back side and that is the cute little journal so you could document some memories add some photos and this time instead of a velcro closure i did a magnetic closure here so there's a magnet underneath that and that closes shut so that is everything guys that is my whole um folio album with the journal and yeah that was using pool party so thank you guys so much for watching all the links that you guys will need will be linked down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn on your bell notifications so that you guys are notified of when i post new videos all right guys i'll see you in my next video talk to you soon bye